I don't take this for granted. It means a lot. Kim takes this risk for Jimmy. Almost it feels like a, a one last time. I'll do this one last thing for you. She is truly risking her professional future in order to help him out. Bring every fancy associate you got, file all the motions you want, and at the end of all this, your client is still going away. Okay. I think she's very irritated that she doesn't win when she comes in with that many guns. And then of course, she's definitely emotionally rattled as well. She's worried she's not gonna pull this off. And if she doesn't, she may not be a lawyer anymore. I have one question for you, Miss Erickson. Are you prosecuting Santa Claus? Your Honor? Because it looks like Miracle on 34th Street in here. I think they're in a really good place when they do this little scam. They are having a great time together. The scamming, once again, has brought them together. Kim Wexler has a dark side, and right now, she's enjoying the scam with Jimmy. So? Support must be invisible. You can't throw a column here, a column there. You will knock down the Chrysler building just to add a subway stop. Well, no, the, ah. Time to go. Werner is very important to Gus. They went to great trouble to hire this guy, and he has strayed a little bit. The man we're working for is very serious. Do you understand? I'm sorry to cause any problem. Werner seems genuinely contrite for his little transgression. So Mike puts himself on the line. He screwed up, he knows it. Said it won't happen again. And what do you say? I've got eyes on him. But yeah, he's good. Gus trusts that at the end of the day, Mike will get it done no matter what it takes. Good. It's so dangerous for Mike to stick his neck out for someone who doesn't really get it. Hey. Come here. Nacho, man, I gotta get the kid. Just come here. 10 months under Gus Fring has not been the best for Nacho. What's up? What's up? He has to be more and more a person that he doesn't want to be. What you owe, you owe with interest. Nacho's becoming stronger, more confident, and unfortunately, I think a little bit darker. Thanks, babe. You're gonna smoke with us? Nacho's prospering from the outside, but I think from the inside, he's dying. He doesn't really feel any profound satisfaction in material gains or even in the, the girls that are at his house. For 10 months, he's been running the show. Oh, hey, I'm Eduardo, but you can call me Lalo. And here's Lalo. He seems kind of charming, and he seems kind of fun and upbeat. Well, Lalo but there's something chilling about him. Te vas a morir. When he sees Lalo and realizes he's a Salamanca, his world just shifted. This could be the ultimate obstacle.